How can we convert security services and operational excellence into business value? I think we have to start by getting aligned on risk with our customer. Uh, you know, once we've done that, uh, it's not easy to do, right? We have a, uh, a very fast-changing world. We have a very fluid, uh, multinational risk environment. Um, you know, we're all reading the same headlines every day. So what's happening is, is that leaders are reading uh, not only about their risk, but their family members are reading about the risk. The stakeholders, the customers are reading about the risk. So how do we stay current? How do we stay relevant? And how do we speak persuasively about what the mitigation is? So I think it's a three-step process. First, we get alignment on what the risk is to the core process of the business, what it means for leadership, what it means for regulatory compliance, what it means for the confidence of the customer in providing services that make them feel more safe and more secure. And then how do we communicate that relevantly? So how do we make sure that not only do they feel safe when we send them across the world, or when we ask them to trial a new service or a new product or a new protocol, but that they understand that we are testing it for performance, that we're relying on them for feedback, and that we're measuring in a way that not only shows them that the um, objectives are achieved from a performance point of view, but that we can also demonstrate that we have arrived at some sort of facilitation or some sort of optimization that saves money, that protects additional revenue, that allows us to go places and markets we haven't been before, and that we in fact are not only going to be safer and more secure, but we're going to be more profitable. And uh, secondly, Francis, what's new in the security leader, quote unquote, army of one world? Well, army of one is a transitional thing, as you know, Joel. So we're, we have um, colleagues that are leading um, very large organizations, and we have others that are transitioning to be a uh, one person band. Um, and the operant opportunity in, in both of those organizations, whether you're small or whether it's large, is to be relevant. So how do I influence? And it doesn't make any difference if I have a large team. If I have the ability to communicate that um, this is what the opportunity is for the organization, uh, that this is what the regulatory expectation is from a brand point of view, that it's a regulatory expect expectation plus for the customer because they anticipate that we're thinking ahead. Um, one of the things that security leaders and leaders do in general is they sometimes discount what the power of their brand reputation is. And, and by that I mean that people that follow the brand, people that have already elected the brand, people that have already selected the brand do so because uh, to them, it's the best possible choice. So when they're talking about their safety, their security, your interest in looking out for their protection, they think everything is solved. So how do we take the opportunity not to only say that we're working on all the, what the regulatory expectations are, we're working beyond that for what the evolving needs of the organization are, and we have the customer embedded um, in our sleep as we're thinking about next steps so that we can take it to the next level because they're presuming we're doing all of that. So we'll talk a lot about with next generation leaders, whether they're big, small armies of one or armies of many, how do we influence that confidence that we're meeting those expectations, that we're delivering performance and we're reaching beyond that uh, for the next opportunity. Uh, those will be um, in hand and then always be ready to ask the question from the engaged leader above you, what else do you need to be able to answer that because you'll already be surmising future resource for people, for technology, uh, for protocol development and those should all be in your, your plan of evolution and development.